Have you ever had a beef with another person and wanted to settle the mess in court? You'll pay for this, Smith. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Deciding on the court is simple. Trial courts settle cases between two parties seeking remedy for the very first time. Appellate courts oversee cases where one of the parties does not like the trial court outcome. And Supreme Court resides over the highest level of cases, or those cases appealed in appellate court. When something happens, whether it is a criminal action or a civil disagreement between neighbors, the case is taken to the trial court. The trial court is the initial court a case moves through based on jurisdiction. You've likely heard the term jurisdiction before. In the court system, jurisdiction is the power that a court holds to oversee a trial or other legal orders. It can be based on several things. Jurisdiction over the person involved in the civil or criminal activity, Jurisdiction over the subject matter. Jurisdiction to render a particular judgment sought. Limits over court power, example small claims court, can hear cases under a certain dollar value. I'm suing my neighbor. How about you? I kicked my neighbor for suing me. Trial courts oversee two types of legal actions, criminal actions and civil actions. I plead not guilty. I meant to kick her car. Criminal actions are trials in which a person is found either innocent or guilty of a crime. Criminal trials generally unfold like this. An arrest is made. The arrested party makes an initial appearance where the party learns the charges. A preliminary hearing is set and the judge will listen to any testimony from witnesses to determine whether there is actually a case. An arraignment is held where the arrested person enters a plea of guilty or not guilty. The arrested person stands trial before a judge and jury where both the state and the defendant present evidence and a judgment is made. If either party is not satisfied, an appeal can be filed with a higher court to review the existing evidence. Civil actions are trials brought on by one party, the plaintiff, suing another party, the defendant. Civil trials work a little differently. When a plaintiff brings about a civil lawsuit, the process is as follows. The plaintiff initiates a complaint with the court for wrongdoing. Complaint is delivered to the defendant. The defendant has a certain period of time to respond or the case is forfeited to the benefit of the plaintiff. The plaintiff and defendant, generally through their attorneys, exchange facts about the case. This is called discovery. A trial is presented to a judge. The judge or jury makes a decision based on the facts of the case. And either party may file an appeal. You owe your neighbor $1,000. What? I'll see you in appeals court. Although criminal and civil trials differ in the way they are presented to a jury or judge, both have the right to an appeal or a review of the evidence of the outcome of the lower court. I will prevail. The appellate court reviews evidence and outcomes of cases that have been settled in a lower court. When